What's up guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in Spin Tires. Hope you guys are having an awesome day, and in today's video, we're on a new Sand Pit map. Now, this map is kind of different than a lot of other maps that I've, uh, that I've been testing out so far, uh, or at least lately, because there's a bunch of different Sand Pits all over the place, and unfortunately, there's no, uh, like, there's no teleporters, so, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, we're just gonna have to drive there, uh, which is, again, like I said, not, like, an issue or anything, it's just something that's a little bit different than some of the other maps we've been testing lately, so, we brought a couple of mega trucks. we brought the Dodge and the Chevy, uh, to see how these things would do out here, and by the way, that motorized gate, really, really, really cool. Um, so if these sand pits are anything like mud pits, then these trucks will do just fine. If they are, like, worse than mud pits, if they, like, just sink... Oh, there's one right there. Oh, God. So you just... Well... Like, that's barely even, like, a sand pit, though. That's kind of... I don't know, that's weird. I don't know if they, they... When they say sand pits, I'm not sure if they, like... I'm not sure if they mean... Um, actual sand pits, or like, sand pits as in, you know, just a design element of the map. But wow, this thing actually did a really good job coming down that hill. I'm impressed. I'm actually really impressed. Oh, okay. So you get these little, uh, like, it's weird. You get these, like, one mud pit per side, effectively. I'm gonna throw it in high and rampage through here. This thing is so good at that. It's so good. It just rampages through everything. The Chevy's pretty damn good at it, too, but the Dodge is just, like, another level of rampaging. God. <laughs> Nothing really holds these trucks back. I mean, you'd have to be really... It, you know what that is that makes the frames drop? It's the rocks. And it's weird, too, because I have a patch now that's supposed to help that, but it still is really tricky to get spin tires itself, like the game, to cooperate with maps that have a lot of objects kind of clustered into one area. So that's why the frames get weird sometimes. Oh, here's a sand pit. This should be fun. Throw it in high and floor it, I guess. Let's see how it does. Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa, that's that's crazy. Yeah, that's actually deep enough that the the entire truck is stalled out. Uh, we're up there. Let's grab the Chevy, because that's actually not too far up the road. All we have to do is literally just go straight up the road, and we can use the Chevy to pull it out. Oh, come on. This truck, it, it's another good truck, but sometimes it's temperamental. Like, it, it, it doesn't want to move sometimes based on where the steering is, or you'll get on the gas and it won't move until you turn the steering. It's really funky. Come on, Gate. Come on, Gate. I'm, like, right on top of you now. Oh, there you go. Oh, God. Back up, please. There. Now go. Before it shuts on us. <laughs> Only problem with this truck is it doesn't actually roll any coal, so... it's It sounds like a diesel. It's got the diesel soundtrack. There's just absolutely zero... Uh, there's absolutely zero exhaust smoke to go with it, which... You kind of want in a truck like this. That was, like, inches from just nose diving and face planting like seriously that was damn close whoop get a little bit of okay we're close now at least let me see okay we're going the right way we got to stay left and then turn left <laughs> it's like stay left and then make another left and you're like but gps person are you sure and they're like left and then make another left, and you're like, but if I make a, as if I make as many lefts as you're wanting me to make, I'll end up back where I was before. All right, let's go around the side, which I'm sure this thing should deal with the. Oh yeah, it deals with the sand, no problem. This thing rampages just about as much as the uh, the Dodge does. Don't you dare fall over. This thing, were, if this thing were to fall over right now, I mean, it wouldn't be too bad. Um, it's like because it's really close to the respawn point. It's just the fact that this map doesn't have any you know, teleporter locators, or spawn locators, I meant. Uh, it, 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 since it doesn't have any spawn locators, it can be kind of tricky sometimes, you know, if a truck is disabled. Oh, God. You kidding me? Oh, crap. Alright. Well, we gotta have a backup for this. 
it's it's crazy how like it's just it just gets you know what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna pull it from the front I'm gonna pull it from the back it'll be much easier to do unfortunately grip wise the Chevy doesn't have quite as much as the Dodge the Dodge has a little bit of an edge on the Chevy grip wise I mean the Chevy's good don't get me wrong it's really good it's just the Dodge has a tiny bit more and just enough for it to actually show uh, if you're really trying to rescue another mud truck Get spun around real quick, and then head back to the other side. We'll hitch it up to, um, to actually to our hitch on the back. We'll back in, hitch it up, and hopefully, uh, hopefully not have any issues pulling it out. Drive down over this edge real quick, and then line it up. Now the only thing that we're really going to have to think about here is just making sure that we don't get stuck in the mud too. All right. Hitch to the rear of the Dodge, and let's go. Oh yeah, we're pulling it now. Well, sort of. Oh, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Yes, come on. Not bad. Oh, dude. Guarantee you we can drive the Dodge now. We better be able to drive the Dodge now. Oh yeah. She starts. Come on. Ah, oh, I was going to try and get it into high. If we can get it into high, this thing would be able to rip out of here. You know what? Just leave it in automatic for now. Don't even worry about it. Just leave it in automatic for now. God, that that hole is nuts. Like, if you, if you get just a, you know, like a foot off of your line, you'll fall so deep into that hole that your engine will be dead. It'll completely flood and die. How about low one, two? Yeah. Not bad. A little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. Top of low two. Well, top of low two only sort of works. This is a really steep hill. Drop it down. That helped us go gain a little bit of ground, but not too much bottom of low two seems to be where it's at for climbing this hill anyway it's weird too because this thing like is amazing in you know deep mud thick mud hills it, it it hates them it's probably because it's it's like the the center of gravity of the truck is so freaking high and it's just not made for hills well we're through there and i'm gonna go ahead and keep exploring up here to see what i can find Another sand pit? Well, mini sand pit anyway. Oh, this is cool. This is actually, this is pretty cool. Trying to, oh my god, wow, the rocks just crashed the frame rate so bad. I think he put too many rocks in one place. Dude, these sand pits are actually pretty fun though. They're, they're fun to like, if you've got a really fast mega truck like this, you can just like whip around these sand pits. And then after you whip around one sand pit, you're like, okay, I'm good. On to the next one. Oh, don't flip it, please. You know, I'd rather spin it than flip it, so we're good. Oh, now this is gonna be this is gonna be tricky, and it's gonna it's gonna wreak havoc on the frame rate with, because of all the rocks. As long as I stay out of them, though, I'll be all right. Oh God. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We slipped down. Yep, we slid down. How about some low range, huh? Can low range help us? Kind of, sort of, maybe? <laughs> Not really to get out of here unless we back up, stick in an automatic, and then drive up the side. And we can use the rocks for a little bit of. Nope. <laughs> I was going to say we could use the rocks for some extra grip, and then it was like, nope. And then, wow, I can't winch to any trees either. That's lovely. Back up real quick. Oh, come on. Please. Please back up. <laughs> Give me a little forward action now. Get a little closer. Ooh, God. <laughs> Come on! Are we close enough? No, we're not. Like, to any trees. Seriously. This may actually help, though. I know it's, like, the opposite direction of where we want to go, 
but you know what? We also have a backup plan. We could just grab the Chevy. We could just grab the Chevy and use it as a backup plan. I mean, that seems to work just, there seems to me like it would work just as well if we're trying to explore. I mean, where's the Dodge at now? The Dodge is down here. Wow, that goes on for like forever. Holy crap. Yeah, that's a big deal. We'll want to go left up here instead of staying straight like we did with the Dodge. So we can get some other areas explored. Stay to the right, I want to say. Yeah, stay to the right. Bottom of low two should be where it's at. And then slowly pull it up on out of the mud. Okay, cool. Staying right and then cutting back left seems like it would be the best line. And the fact that this truck has four-wheel steer helps it out so much. Sometimes it'll hit little mini walls in the terrain. And not like, that's not the game, that's just the truck running out of grip. But I mean, it's, it's, it's pulling it though. Oh yeah, it's pulling it no problem. Come on, come on, come on, come on, there you go. Give me some traction. There we go. Trying to find a way up, up the hill that works for this truck is like... It's not hard. It's just this particular truck, it sometimes... It sometimes runs out of grip in, in areas that you, you're you like, it shouldn't be running out of grip here. And I don't know if that's because the tire programming or the grip programming is funky. Uh, or if there's something else like that's just weird about this truck. Uh, but regardless, I mean, you can get it through obstacles. It's just not quite as easy to get through it as the Dodge for some reason and I'm not sure why all right let's see what do we got going on down here there another sand pit there should be or at least at some point there should be oh god there's a little little like not really a ravine uh it's not, it's way too shallow to be a ravine but like just a little area with a creek in it oh that's a that's a crossing Damn. Might want to get some uh, some high range for this. Oh, it's not bad. Okay, I was really worried that it was going to be one of those ones where you drop in and then the whole thing just falls away into the, you know, into the water. Oh, now this, this is crazy. It's like a quarry out here or something. I mean, you never really, you never really see maps like this anymore. I mean, you used to... Um, in like the tech demo and stuff like that, but a lot of the maps that are like this specifically You don't really see them that much anymore, which is kind of funny to me And I don't know why people don't really make maps like this anymore uh, Most people just want to make woods maps, which is fine as long as they're creative But the problem is a lot of the woods maps aren't really that creative. So <laughs> You're kind of like now this this is cool. It's like a retaining wall almost Now why you would build your retaining wall out of old bridge pieces. I'm not sure but it's still there, nonetheless. And this... Oh, okay, that's cool. So if you were going to log this map, this would be where you would go uh, to pick up lumber. Now, I have no clue if this truck can actually get out without using the, um, the road, but I'm going to try. Nope. <laughs> I mean, it might be able to. You just have to find the absolute perfect line. Uh, but let's see. So we've explored this one. And then this just keeps going on, and this area is pretty similar to this, but um, I feel like it'd actually be kind of an entertaining map to log, because it's not, like, super treacherous trails, but it's a really cool map to look at. So, if you guys enjoyed this tour of this map, don't forget to hit that like button, tell me in the comments below what you thought of it, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time, talk to you guys soon.